Mathematics leads us to find things we didn't know were there before. Supersymmetry is an example of that. Uh, we know about ordinary matter. The mass leads you on to discover super matter and super energy. The theory took everything we thought we knew about, even the Higgs, and doubled it, giving every matter particle a force partner and every force particle a matter partner. These heavier supersymmetric twins were labeled sparticles. So once you believe this maths that says there's more to existence, then you have to wonder what these other things are. So you have to name them at a very, you know, at the very first step. So in nature, there's this thing called the electron. The mass says it has a super partner called the selectron. Muon, there'd have to be a smuon. Photon, there'd have to be a photino. Quark, there'd have to be squarks. Z particle, there'd have to be xeno. The W particle, there'd have to be a weno, and that's how supersymmetry works. According to supersymmetry, matter and forces aren't so distinct after all. There's a grand symmetry between them. But we can currently see only one partner from each pair.